G'day taxpayers. Um, the inflation data and the confirmation that the Bureau of Statistics will be putting out a fully comprehensive monthly inflation reading in November, so not that far away that we're going to be having a whiz, bang, roll, gold, fantastic uh, indicator on monthly inflation. But that implies that the current readings on monthly inflation are somewhat erroneous, and certainly that's what the Reserve Bank Governor said when she dismissed the most recent monthly readings as a reason not to cut interest rates just a, a couple of weeks ago. So I just thought I'd have a look at the last couple of years of what the monthly versus the quarterly inflation data are reading. And of course, there are differences between the monthly and quarterly inflation, by definition almost. But just by the by, uh, for the uh, year to March 2024, so the data just a little over a year ago, the uh, quarterly figures showed uh, annual inflation at 3.6%. The monthly figures showed it at 3.5%. So, gosh, not a bad guide. If, if I was RBA governor, I'd be pretty happy with those indicators. Uh, March 2025, which of course the March quarter is the most recent up-to-date data that we've got on a quarterly basis, showed that uh, inflation was 2.4%. What did the monthly figure say? 2.4%. So while I welcome the more comprehensive monthly inflation numbers, I think it's a bit cheeky and a bit of a lame excuse to say that because the current uh, incantation of the monthly inflation numbers are somewhat different, there are a few minor shortcomings compared with the more comprehensive monthly numbers. Uh, the difference is tiny, Mickey Mouse, and if you're quibbling over a tenth of a percentage point in an annual inflation reading, you've really got uh, you know, nothing else to worry about. Alas, I think the RBA has got a lot more to worry about with unemployment now clearly on the rise and economic growth just plugging along. So just thought I'd mention that. Yeah, great to see the comprehensive CPI coming out uh, in a few months' time, but gee, I think we've overplayed just how gosh, how misleading or how wrong or how short the uh, current monthly numbers are. They're actually not, not bad.